Okay, welcome to this tutorial on how to use Acid Music Studio. We're going to be learning how to develop a 12-bar blues in this tutorial, as well as use the tools in the software. So first, we'll go ahead and open it. So here in this computer is Acid Music Studio. And when you open Acid Music Studio, one of the first things that pops up is this great show me how tutorial. And we're not going to go into it right now, but if you're trying to do stuff on your own, it's a great place to start. The Sony Music tutorials are fantastic, so feel free to take a look at how to open a file, how to record audio, and so on. But for now, we're just going to close that, and we're going to do some stuff on our own. All right, we're going to build this 12-bar blues tutorial simply out of stuff that's in the media library. And if you go down to your media library, which should be located here on your computer, and click the plus sign, you'll see there should be acid loops and acid songs. Now yours might be organized a little differently, but you should find it somewhere like this. If you click on acid loops, there are a whole bunch of different places you can go to pull down songs and put them into acid. For example, let's try clicking on machine language and click on this, and now we can hear that. If we like it, we can drag it up and put it right here, and now we can hear that in our song. And if we want to take it, and extend it, we'll drag it out a little bit longer. And now when I hit this play button, I can hear that as it plays and we'll continue going on. If I wanted to put something on the top of it, I could drag another song like this here. Ooh, sounds a little nasty, but we'll give it a shot. And slap that on there and drag it out. And now what we have, if we play from the beginning, we start with just the one and our second track adds in as well. Now these aren't exactly what we're looking for for our 12 bar blues, so let me stop that. So instead of using these, we're going to try some specific tracks, but let's delete those out of there. So I'm just hitting delete on the keyboard to remove them. Okay, what we're going to use to start our 12 bar blues is we're going to move down here to sweet and low bass, and if I can just, there it is, sweet and low bass. And we're going to try this one right here, it's a nice little riff. <coughs> using a nice bass guitar. So we're going to go ahead and take this and drag it on up and place it in there. Now you'll notice by default it plays for one bar of music here. Some of them play longer. In the case of this one, we'll get one bar's worth of music. Let's we can see a little bit more of it. Back up just a little bit. So now we can see that one bar of music and that's all I dragged up at this point. And so now we have that one track and that's all we got. But let's have it play for four bars because as you know, in the 12 bar blues starts with four bars of the same thing. So there's one bar, two bars, three bars, four bars. Now we have, if we play from the beginning, this little riff going four times. All right. Okay, nothing too complicated. Now, after four bars, what happens with the 12-bar blues is you go up to another note. So we'll bring this in here and we'll, we'll fix the note in a second, but for now, we know we're gonna have another here before we drop to the original note. So we'll drag in another section here for our drop back to the original note. Now, these are all gonna sound the same right now, and if I play from this line right here, you'll hear that there's really no change. And we'll add the change in a little bit. So let's go ahead and pull up one more section. This will be for our extreme moment up at the top. And we'll pull that up. Let's pull two separate clips. And that way we can modify them to go to two different keys. And then we'll come up at the very end with our final two bars of the original. Now, so here's our 12 bars. And we haven't changed the key at all. But let's go ahead and do that. And this is so easy in acid, it's amazing. All I have to do is hit a plus or minus on the keyboard. And it changes the key up or down. I'm going to bring this key down to, to a G. Now, if you think about the 12 bar, the first four bars are of that key, and then you jump up to another key. And in our case, we're going to jump up to the fourth of G. So if we come up to a C, we have the fourth of G. Now, if we play from the beginning, we hear our four bars of G. And now you'll hear the key change. Back to the original. Actually, we got to drop this one down to G too. So we'll hit the minus key twice. Drops that down to G. And we'll do this at the end too because we know that drops down to G too. All right, so here's our G, C. And this is the one we're going to have as our stressed key. So it's going to be the one right after C. So we'll go up to D. And then back to a C. And now we should have our whole 12 bar blues. Let's see how it sounds. There 
there's our first four bars. And then we come up and back down. And now our stressed notes. Alright, there's our 12 bars. Now let's make it fancier a little bit. As long as we have the same key here, we don't have to play the exact same notes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit better end on the, that by dragging that one down to just one bar. And now I'll come down here to this little riff right here, which sounds like a good ending. I'll slap that on, and now drag it down so it's only one bar. If I play from this little white line, you'll see... that we have that nice ending to it now. Now we also could use some rhythm, so let's go ahead and add some rhythm down at the bottom, and we'll go up to well, electrical point blank, and let's take this third one. Nice sound and drum beat. Well, let's take this, and let's have this play throughout the whole of what we play. So I'm going to drag it all out so it's over the whole 12 bars. So now if you hear from the beginning, we still have our blues riff, and then we also have that nice rhythm behind it. If you don't like the volume of the rhythm, you can drop that down a little bit here so it's not quite as dominating, but it's still there. So we got a rhythm in the background, and then we also have a 12 bar blues playing on top of it. And coming to it. it might be nice to get that rhythm to die out at the end, and we could have it so it just cuts off a little early, but rather than do that, let's put a fade on it. And the way you put a fade, pretty easy process, all you do is you get up on the very corner of your acid song and you see how there it sets up so it's got a little curved angle like that you just take that and drag it back and if you want a really long fade you can drag it back further and if you want a shorter fade you can put it right there we'll have it fade for the whole last bar so we'll do that and let's see how that sounds we'll start playing right from here and hit play <laughs> And so you hear how the music, how that percussion just fades out at the end. All right, so now we have our own 12-bar blues that we put together. And what we can do is we can, of course, save our file, which is always a good idea. And another thing we can do, which is a really important process, is when we want to import this into our PowerPoint or burn it to a disk or whatever it is we want to do with it, we need to render it in a format that you can see outside of ACID. And so we're going to go to Render As. And the default setting for us is rendering it in Sony Acid Music Studio. And that's probably not the best place to put it because then it'll get deleted. You want to put it on your U drive if you have one. But I'm going to put it on the desktop just for fun today. So we'll put this here. And we'll go down here and we'll rename it 12 bar. And we'll save it right to the desktop. And now that's a song now that I could import or view um, in any other program. And if I minimize this, you guys can see. It's sitting right here. I can press on it, and it'll open it in Windows Media Player, just like any other song you'd have. And it'll play our nice little 12 bar. All right. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial on Acid Music Studio.